Hello, this is David Hartman, Learning for Travel. I just arrived in Cairo from New York, a wonderful Egypt Air 777 Boeing, and uh, my first time back here in a couple of years. And I look forward to uh, showing you the sights around uh, Cairo in the next couple of days. My friend Delight, Dave Alika, the rest of our group gets here uh, this evening. I'm here uh, with Muhammad Ali, world famous Muhammad Ali, Hello. our driver. Bosa Muhammad Bosor. Okay. Yeah, but you know Muhammad Ali now drives here in, in Cairo. Yeah. And I'm also here with Romney, who will take over here and tell us a little about our tour. Hello. Go ahead, Romney. Tell us about Egypt. Okay. Or uh, tell us who you are first. I'm just here with my uh, with Mr. David. I'm just working as in this company as a representative. I am just working for Mr. Afifi, my general manager, and it's my pleasure to meet uh, Mr. David for the first time. And uh, tonight I will uh, pick up or, uh, just his friend. He's supposed to come on Air France from Paris at 7 p.m. Excellent. And uh, so. Tell, tell us in a few seconds here uh, what we're going to see in, in Cairo. Uh, I'm just explaining it for a few a few minutes ago to Mr. David about some uh, short information about Egypt. Egypt has more than 80 million people, uh, just two of them uh, living in Cairo only. By the way, on the left hand side, the Sabaron Palace, it's a French palace. It, uh, it has built in, the, in 1901 by the, the French prince, Baron Inca. Uh, we have some information about this man. Uh, some of them uh, said that he get married from Indian women, so that he had established his palace of the Indian style. And uh, we are now on Salah Street, uh, Salah Salim Street, the main street <coughs> between the airport and the downtown. And a few minutes after this tunnel, we will, uh, if we look at the right hand side, we will see uh, Mr. President's house, Mr. Previous President's house, House in Mubarak. Ah, former yeah. President's house, now a yeah. empty presidential palace. Yes. <laughs> Here in the new Egypt. Yes. Uh, so I'm just uh, keep uh, explaining about the rest of formation we have here in Egypt. 29 states. Uh, the state number 29 is called Luxor because it has transformed recently from a city to a state. Why? Because it includes more than 70% of the total of monuments in the entire world found in this city. And as for the means, uh, the means of transport here, we depend on several. We have the first one, we have subways above ground and underground, and we have uh, we have public buses and public micro buses to transfer the public people to their work or to their home. And we have four kinds of cabs here. The first one is the oldest cab here, by the way. That's uh, my, the, the previous house of Mr. President Mubarak here. Who is now in Sharm el-Sheikh, right? Yes, <clears throat> he's now living in Sharm el-Sheikh with his family, Suzanne and Gamal and Ala, that uh, his sons. And on the right-hand side as well, we'll see the Air Force house. Because Mr. Distance. President Mubarak, he was graduated from Air Force faculty. And he just made the first trade on the Israeli troops in the Great War between Egypt and Israel in 1973. And uh, let's go back to our dialogue, to our conversation. The second kind of cab is called the, the modified cab. It's absolutely yellow. It is equipped uh, with air conditioning. And it has a counting device on the tableau mm. or on the cassette. We start the counting from two Egyptian and half. And Good to know. Yes. And the third kind of cab is called city cab. It's actually, it looks like American caps, it's absolutely yellow. It has also a counting device here or here. They start accounting from three Egyptian. And we have the latest cab here that had entered uh, Egypt recently. It's called London cab. It actually, it looks like the bridge, old bridge car. And but too expensive. I don't advise everybody to take this cab. <laughs> okay. Well, let me give people a view here because the best way to travel in Cairo is by street because the driving here is just wonderful. It puts New York City to shame. And uh, today's a quiet day. It's a weekend. Friday, Saturday's your weekend. Tomorrow's a work day. We'll be touring tomorrow. We look forward to bringing you more sights and sounds of Cairo. I'm excited to be back and show you the new Egypt.